Where am I? And so it begins. In the end, we all burn for our sins. Is this a dream? In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Okay, what's up everybody? This is the game Virus, also known as the G-G-G-G-G-G Virus, and we are back at it again with more Let's Play Silent Hill 3 Blind. Never played it before in my lifetime. And last episode, man, we had a boss fight. Well, first of all, we made it out of that area that we were stuck in. That nightmare zone, some construction area building and shit like that. It had a whole bunch of different places and stuff like that. We were stuck in there for a little bit. We finally made it completely out of there. We thought we would have to have a boss fight to get out of there, but no. We managed to get our asses out, and we were very happy about that. Lo and behold, we were very close to our home. Heather's been trying to get home for like this whole entire game. And I figured that once she got home, it would be the end of the game, but no, it's, I don't know if this is the middle or so, but we're a bit of a ways in, but this is definitely not the end. And Heather made it home. And when she got home, she was looking for her dad, and her dad was there. Although he was not there. He was not with us anymore. He was dead. And I believe her dad is Harry. He was dressed just like Harry Mason. And they didn't show his face, but I think it was Harry Mason. Harry Mason was the protagonist from the first Silent Hill that we also let's played on our channel, Blind. Never played before, you should check that out. And, uh, yeah. So then, Heather went all fucking Psycho Rambo, fucking Bruce Willis and Die Hard and shit. And went on a killing spree, or vowed to kill the person who killed her father. And she went to the roof and was about to shoot that old lady, I forget her name. She's like, scary looking, no makeup, very plain looking very pale she was about to shoot him i mean her in the face but then she ended up having to do a boss fight before she could do that the real person who killed her father actually it was a creature although it was ordered by the plain-faced scary pale woman she ordered it to do it but she we ex uh, exposed of it disposed of it and uh yeah we, we didn't die once on that boss fight we took him out completely and uh we uh, reunited with the detective. I don't remember his name, but the detective guy came here. He basically had nothing to say. He's a useless idiot. But he's going to give us a ride, I guess, to Silent Hill. And, uh, yeah. This is Harry's grave. A little makeshift grave here. Because, you know, I guess Heather doesn't have any, uh... Heather, Heather doesn't have time to make the funeral arrangements, but... That's basically where we're at. Look at VHS tapes. There's nothing odd about the TV or the VCR. <laughs> There's something very odd about that TV and the fact that you have a VCR. It's 2016. Somebody has a degree? The fuck? People, 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 like, people playing this game now are going to be very think that that's very odd. So yeah, Harry basically died in his favorite armchair while watching <laughs> some, like, you know, watching The Tonight Show or something. Got his fucking guts ripped out of him. Looks like he was gutted from groin to sternum scream style so I guess um, I saved before the fight but I would like to save again because I'm basically picking this up right oh, I thought that was a safe one on the door because I'm picking this up right after the boss fight and I have not saved since the boss fight since before the boss fight and I don't want to die or have my power get go out for some reason and I have to do that fight again because I did so well I didn't die or take that much damage I did use all my handgun bullets, however. Dad, why did you have to die? You told me you were the strongest man in the world. Liar! Uh, he might be right, he was. In Silent Hill 1, man, he overcame some serious shit. There's no need to go back on the roof. That monster is dead now. Uh -oh. Besides, Douglas is waiting outside. That's the guy's name? Douglas? I didn't even know that. It's just a regular TV. There's nothing different about it. So, that's crazy. Heather lives in a simple-ass apartment, but where's her room? I guess this is her room. Is there a safe point in here? That would be neat of them to do. This does not look like this would be Heather's room at all. It's too plain and... 
it seems like there'd be some real, like, I don't know, rocker shit in there. Maybe a chronic leaf or something. I don't know. This room just has zero personality. Heather looks like the type who, who would have a room with much personality in it. I got a stun gun. Shit, you should have brought that with you from the start. I got a stun gun battery. I got another stun gun battery. What is this, like, a one-use item? This is my dresser. I don't need to change. I'll leave it alone. Ah, uh, you do need to change. You have blood splattered all over your your, your little vest, your hooded vest. It's just a, it's a nice little vest right there. The hooded vest and shit. What? Up note? Up naughty? What kind of shit is this? Director something? What? Morning always comes. It's corny, but it's true. But if your eyes are closed, it always feels like night. That's the hero's line from this movie. I always like that line. But now it just seems stupid. Oh, I guess it's from a movie or something. What kind of... What is that? What is that? That picture? Weird... What did you say? I'm exhausted, but I don't think I can sleep now. Besides, Douglas should be waiting for me outside. I was trying to see if she had anything to say about her weird photos that she has on the wall. What a, what a crappy room. Who's that woman right there? That looks like Maria or Mary, whichever one. Jeez, I sound like James right now. Was it Mary or was it Maria? From Silent Hill 2, it looks like a sailor right there, like an old school sailor with the hat and the sailor outfit. Man, I don't know what that picture is. This bed looks awful, this room is awful. It looks dirty too. Like the walls look dingy. Fuck. Good lord. I don't remember exactly when, but I think I got this doll at a at a garage sale. I still like it, but there's nothing I can do with it right now. I guess that's all there is to it, man. Heather's room, everybody. I figured once we got to her home, that'd be the end of the story, but nope. It just turned into a revenge story now. A revenge game. Nothing else to be said about anything else. So I guess we should head out. And check out the kitchen, I guess. There's nothing to do in the kitchen. I'm not hungry at all. You should be. I'm still hungry. Who could eat something in a situation like this? The past, what was it, been four or five videos have all been one set. Yeah, I remember on the first video they said I was complaining about being hungry. I still am. I'm let's playing without food, which is not a good idea. It makes you grumpier and more susceptible to rage quitting. There's nothing to do in the kitchen. I'm not hungry at all. Same shit. I can't reach anybody, not the police or the church. That'd be a good idea to reach the police. What the hell would you reach the church for? Maybe because your dad died, I guess. I don't know. Heather doesn't seem like the religious type to me at all. Alright, let me go save immediately. Immediately. If I can find that save point again. There it is. Because we'd put in some serious work. And it deserves to be documented. Documented so we don't have to do it over again. Alright, I guess let's head outside, I don't know. This isn't the door we came in from, but it's the closest door, and I'm assuming Douglas would've went out this one to give us the lift. I'm expecting a whole bunch more cutscenes, too. Yup. I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill, to look for a guy named Leonard, and he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. Simple works to my daughter? Harry, you're giving people blood-stained memos? 
that guy they're talking about, he was the guy we met earlier. Leonard or no? No, what was his what they say his name was? Vincent. That was a weirdo we met earlier that Heather was creeped out by. Started raining. Are you sleeping? I'm awake. There's no way she's sleeping. What's the deal with Silent Hill anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now. <laughs> now it's the stuff of nightmares. Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work. You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. Uh-oh. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Yeah, just dissing her hometown like that. No taken. Good voice acting on Heather's actress. Or voice actress. She sounds really upset. Much different than she's been sounding the whole playthrough so far. She sounds like she's really anyway, just over it. I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? She wants you to shut the fuck up. That's what's wrong. Pounding, like the worst hangover ever. I'm sick of hearing your annoying voice. Remember my childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. You see, that girl had special powers. Powers? <laughs> her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. I knew it! Ha! I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. <laughs> Harry's punk ass. No mention of Sybil? Be cool if Sybil came back. I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. Claudia, that's her name. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too. Mm -hmm. You got some kind of mental illness, girl. No, what the hell are you talking about? The girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. You know, just like I was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. was so sudden. I never had a chance to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. So, it's very possible, as you guys saw, none of that cutscene because of Konami and they, they're not having it bullshit. 
They are not having it. Don't you dare put our shit on YouTube for the world to see. Don't you even fucking think about it. That whole mentality they got, you know, because Konami, you know, does not give a fuck. But, um, yeah, that was a very enlightening cutscene, very lengthy one. Uh, hopefully, some of it will be able to be, you'll be able to hear it for sure. Somebody head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. You got the map, right? Damn, we gotta go to another yeah. hospital. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. You're not? Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <sighs> You're right. I am afraid. I'm 50 something years old. <laughs> I've never seen nothing like this. You look good for 50 something, I guess. I still feel like I'm dreaming. More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. That sounds like a bad idea, looking around in some hospital in Silent Hill. I wonder if it's going to be the same hospital we saw in Silent Hill 1. If it is, I don't want to go back there. What if it's the same, like the same structure and everything? Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. Did we go through a hospital in Silent Hill 1 or was that Silent Hill 2? Heather's over here on her last leg. You, you went through that whole car ride in Caution Health on the verge of dying. No wonder you were holding your head. It's my fucking fault. Should have healed your ass. Sorry about that. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry about it. All right, well, we're continuing the effing journey. You got your gun on you? Nope. <clears throat> well, this is stupid. Don't split up. Ugh, the save point just on a piece of paper. Let me see what she has to say about it. She always has funny things to say about these papers or these save points. That's gotta be a coincidence. But still, that's pretty weird. Who could have done this? Nah, I'm not gonna save. Because I just saved before all that cutscene goodness. That... You guys probably won't get to see. There's no point in turning on the TV. All I could watch is snow anyways. I guess she means a static screen. That's the bathroom. I don't need to use it right now. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm tired, but it's no time to sleep. I'm going to head for the hospital. No, this is the perfect time to sleep. Fuck going to the hospital. Forget that. Damn, what's wrong with these characters? Oh, goodness. Ooh, it is foggy in this bitch here. What in the world? Did they lose their minds? Developers, this is unacceptable. It looks like I'm just in a white void. This is... Oh, I even know where I came out from anymore. I lost track of that. So if I wanted to go back and save, I'm fucked. Oh, man, this looks familiar. This is some Silent Hill 2 shit. Yeah, it was Silent Hill 2 where we went to a hospital. Did we? Heaven's Night? Oh, no. Oh, you guys are assholes. I say Jack in the Box. Damn, I'm hungry. Oh, Jack in the Box sounds so good right now. Gosh, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to stop and get some fucking food. Whoa, okay. Jack's Inn. 106. Okay, that's my room. So I gotta make my punk ass way all the way to Brookhaven Hospital. Damn, we haven't been in this particular spot since we were running around with Maria or Mary or whoever the fuck that was. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna cut it here, you know? Damn, most of this episode was cutscene. That's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be bad if I have to cut that shit out, which means this, this video had very little content. <sighs> And it's not my fault, man. Tell Konami to ease up on us, you know? It's fair use. It's fair use. They can't do this. I know they don't give a crap about gamers. Or video games, for that matter, anymore. But they still want to sit here and, uh... Give me shit. 
Oh, great. Static. Oh, come on! These fucking dogs. Alright, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for this episode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to room 106. Uh, at least there's a lot of space and room to run around. And next episode, man... Welcome back to Silent Hill. Welcome back to the dogs. And of course, the first things to greet us is those ridiculous dogs. Yo, this is this fog is it's, it's, it's they 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 must I think they dropped the ball with this fog. It's just ridiculous. It's absolutely too much. And I am absolutely starving. All right, man. If you like the video, feel free to like it. If you want more, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Silent Hill 3. Blinds never played before in my life. Doing it for the first time with you guys. This is Heather Morris, I mean, the game virus, also known as the G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-